one river that officials have been closely monitoring. KCRA 3's Maricela de la Cruz spoke to Sacramento County officials about the concerns. As water levels keep rising. So I've seen a lot of it happen, but this is by far the worst year. Sacramento County officials are monitoring rising water in areas like Carmichael, North Highlands, and the southern part of the county. The Casunas River is a, is a wild river, and the water is going to go where it goes. And right now, uh, crews, as I mentioned, are really focused on Twin Cities Road between 5 and 99. It usually happens when there's a lot of water and, and, it, and the, the road gets covered with water. Area residents like Victor, who lives on Twin Cities Road and half a mile away from the Kasubnis River, says this is the worst winter he's experienced in 22 years. This year, there was probably about 20 cars that had to get towed out of there. Uh, so this is definitely the worst year, but it's, it's happened, like I said, other years, just so not this extreme. So this is the worst year that, that, we, that I've seen it. But despite the possibility of an overflowing river, he's not exactly worried about water ending up in his property. That's because the worst damage he's seen wasn't caused by flooding. What does more damage here is the wind. As you can tell, these were also uh, uh, stalls for the horses that used to be here. But they've gotten blown over over the years, and it's been the damage that, that the causes once from the wind, not necessarily from the rain. Sacramento County officials are preparing for a road closure along Twin Cities Road. Now, how soon this happens is really going to depend on water levels and how fast they rise. As those water levels have risen over the last few hours and with more rain expected over the next few days, Sacramento County officials say that there's still a possibility of power outages. So they're asking residents to make sure that their electronics and the, their medical equipment is charged. In Sacramento County, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.